Well, the school year is set to kick off for many this month, and that means the return to classrooms for students across the Bay Area. Meantime, monkeypox and COVID-19 are still very much a part of our reality. So here to discuss key safety tips to keep in mind is Dr. George Rutherford, a professor of epidemiology at UCSF. Thanks so much for joining us, and good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, so um, Dr. Rutherford, let's talk a bit about COVID first. So, I mean, sure. I'm sure you re recall this too, the outbreak at one, at one point uh, forcing entire school districts to shut down. There were fights at school board meetings over whether kids should mask or even get themselves vaccinated. So, obviously, things have evolved quite a bit since then. What should parents keep in mind as they get their kids ready for the first day of school? Well, it's not a requirement. They should have first and foremost in mind to have their their children as vaccinated as possible, which is if it means if they're over 12, they should have at least one booster. Um, so that's the main that's that's the main message. Get your kids vaccinated. The school districts are going to play it. They're each one's going to do it differently in terms of masking and social distancing and things like that. I suspect we're not going to see much, mm -hmm. um, and we'll just sort of tolerate uh, background levels of infection. Mm -hmm. Which, with the Omicron variants that we're seeing now, is probably not the world's worst idea. The, yes, there'll be absenteeism. Yes, there'll be uh, sickness among you know. There'll be uh, infection among the school staff. So, could lead to substitute teaching and all the things like that. But it's not going to be, I mean, you don't anticipate that there are going to be lots of hospitalizations or severe disease in this younger population. It's mm -hmm. not impossible. And the vaccines do a great job of preventing that. So the first and foremost is to get vaccinated. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you also recommend, especially for parents with younger children, that they send their kids to school maybe with a little bottle of hand sanitizer and encourage some frequent hand washing? Yeah, you know, that's not really going to make much difference for, for COVID. It might make a difference for a few other things, but not really for COVID. There's really no uh, surface transmission for COVID that we've seen. Hmm. And how about for some of the students who are a bit older with the university students? Sometimes they are finding themselves yeah. sitting in big lecture hall situations, lots of people in one space. Um, not sure exactly. I mean, the guidance for social distancing is probably going to vary per university, but what sort of right. things should they be keeping in mind as they head back to campus? Well, first and foremost, again, they should be vaccinated. There are lots of other things you need to be vaccinated for and for college as well, like uh, meningococcus, for instance, meningitis shots. Mm -hmm. But I would also uh, say that, you know, you can, you know, you can control your environment by putting a mask on. Um, and if you're in a big lecture hall and it's completely packed and, um, you know, the people around and you're just sort of stuck uh, with lots of people around you, just put a mask on, you know, especially if you haven't been infected before or haven't been infected recently. Um, it, you know, it's just it's not something you want to get. And we're learning more and more about long COVID and the risks for long COVID. And believe me, this is something to be avoided, not embraced. And let's uh, talk a bit about monkeypox now. We already know yeah. a few positive cases found in very young children. So yeah. is this something that parents should be going out and getting their kids vaccinated for at this point? Absolutely not. Absolutely, positively not. Mm. This is a. This is in. This is almost entirely a sexually transmitted disease, and almost entirely, uh, right now, among men who have sex with men and and transgendered women, um, and the the chances of a child being infected are practically zero. The infections that did take place were in settings where somebody was infected in a household, and they had. Uh, prolonged contact with a with a young child in a household. Mm. So if you have a household member who's infected, that person should be isolated. The wound should be covered, um, and uh, they should be you know separated from the rest of the household. But short of that, the chances of young children getting this at this point in time are zero. Mm -hmm. And you know, given the low transmission rate among children, um, still, what are some symptoms that parents of young children? Uh, what, is there anything that they should be looking out for? No, no, they're not going to get it. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, th this presents with a rash. Okay. Uh, and it looks like chickenpox. Now, nobody sees chickenpox anymore because we have a vaccine for it. Uh, but it's you know, do you have? Um, uh, uh, fluid-filled uh, fluid filled pustules of different ages that eventually move to crusting over. The typical lesion is, you know, about the size of your, half the size of your little fingertip, and it's filled with yellow fluid, yellow pus. It is not subtle. Um, mm. Now, there are some subtler signs 
there's some prodromal signs and things like that, but that's all, that's all nuance. Hmm. Um, you know, I would not be uh, in for children, for parents of young children, uh, unless you're, uh, unless somebody who lives in the household is a very sexually active uh, man who has sex with men, I think the chances of them acquiring it are zero. Mm, okay, so the, really the priority, it sounds like, uh, for parents this coming school year is to really make sure that their kids are vaccinated for COVID-19. And uh, everything else they should be vaccinated for. The vaccines fell off quite a bit because, during mm. COVID, so these were way behind, for instance, on measles vaccination. Mm. So make sure your kids are fully vaccinated. They're all up to date. Get the COVID shots and um, have a good school year. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Rutherford with UCSF. We appreciate your perspective this morning. My pleasure. Have a good day. Bye-bye. You too.